come with me on my bike rides now. Um, it's my first time that I'm visiting Richmond Park. You can't see, but I'll flip the phone soon. It's it's a really cool place. I never thought I'd cycle around London like this. It's if you have the time, Google it. It's supposed to have deers around, and I have never seen a deer in a park in my life. And it is so chill here. I it's like a different world. It is like it's it in a city like London I can't believe that there's places like this this is like a if I show you right now I have to let me show you it is absolutely beautiful see my phone falls it's my first time doing this so please bear with me I'm sorry there we go well, look at this place look at this place when I find a deer, I will immediately record it. It's just, I'm so grateful for being able to do this right now. Like, seriously, being able to live like this and go to see these beautiful places that, you know, I didn't, I didn't even think that there could be some cool animals over here. Because when you, when you think about a park in a, in a, in a city you think about just something like fabricated and made up this is lit really beautiful like right now around me is these like like dry dry flowers and green grass and it's just so beautiful around it's about three o'clock right now you probably think that it's about 7 p.m because in the uk it gets dark now very very quickly um so i hope you can see me okay i am really enjoying this because I always want there we go there's a deer oh my gosh I'm oh my god it's the first time Shh, don't be scared don't be scared I don't hear nothing with the babies and everything look at this look let me record another video so you'll see amazing amazing This is just amazing. And it's, as you can hear, it's so peaceful here. It's like kids and there we go, not a deer. That's, that's not a deer, I think that's like a, I forgot the name of it, it's the, the bigger one. The bigger one, not a deer, that has like a, a massive like, what's it called? I forgot. But this is so beautiful and you know, I like, I, I can't believe there's a, I saw the, the, the letter in the, in the front of the of the gate and it says that there's 400 deer here 400 of them and they're saying that on the ground there's chestnuts that the park um, associates the people that support the park and keep it up they're saying that it's they put it on the ground because um, for the deer to eat and people can't take them because otherwise the deer won't the deer won't be fed and they'll suffer so there's like chestnuts on the ground and nobody takes and they just they're just for the deer and it's it's beautiful it's great it's like i've never been in such park in my life it's, it's it feels like you're in the countryside of like some small town and it's so peaceful outside because even with the weather today, like you look at you look at the sky and people are people are not out right now. It's so peaceful, like it's beautiful outside. Like I think one of the parks like this is Hampstead Heath, but it doesn't have animals. Like it, this one has. This is like I've never I've never seen such thing. It's like like police are on horses here. For those that are not in London, for us this is like a usual thing to see. Like anyone that that lives in London knows that, but for anyone that's watching, it's like it's you see horses around and, and the police, and you're thinking that these two combinations doesn't work, don't work. But 
it's beautiful. See people are running around and and all that and it's great. I'm gonna make a video of the entrance when I go back and show you what what I meant by the chestnuts. And that'll be my experience in Richmond Park. But I went here for one thing, and that's to see a deer. And I saw it. Hey. Damn, this car swallows here. <laughs> Cause they're racing too much. What's that there? There's a place. There's some people. There is some civilization. There is some civilization. Let's see what it is. That's why I love the bike because I have to walk in. It takes you so much less time for everything. Um, it's great. Let's see where we are. Um, oh, civilization. There we go. I'm parking. Let's see what's going on and you see that's a vertical video I haven't figured out the thing please don't say anything whoever watches the two people that watch my videos please don't don't say anything about oh it's a vertical video I haven't figured out the the stand on my thing on my wheel um, how to work it out so I can do vertical Oh, it's a coffee shop but it's kind of dark for a coffee and I already had two at home so I'm not gonna do it I'm gonna go back to the entrance and then get back home but it was great to see this place it's beautiful it's amazing okay till next time with no predators and 200 birds annually the deer population would increase beyond the park's carrying capacity without intervention. To prevent starvation and malnutrition, the deer are selectively culled during November and February. Healthier to 600 with the correct balance of ages and years. And I see that by liaising on sweet chestnuts, horse chestnuts, and beech mass building up winter fat reserves, Removing the chestnuts deprives the deer of essential food. And it's Christmas tree sales as well. It's just such a cool time, for real. And that's the Richmond Park map. How big it is.